CEO of the Great Lakes Water Authority is stepping down following, of course, two major flooding events in the span of about a month. Sue McCormick announced her decision to resign today as an investigation into what caused tens of thousands of basements to flood last month is just getting underway. Rod Maloney joins us live now. Rod, the, the timing of this decision certainly raises some questions. Well, like the question of, is she going to walk away right away? And they're just wrapping up the meeting and no, she's going to stay on uh, for the immediate uh, time frame to about, I guess, August 11th. They're looking to name her replacement. But in the meantime, the biggest concern for everybody at the meeting today was the impending weather. A statement came out from the Gliwa PR department telling us essentially that uh, people need to be braced, prepared for the weather. They think their system can hold up, but they do have sewage in holding areas that they're trying to drain now. The Great Lakes Water Authority board meeting today, the members heard that it was in fact an electrical subcontractor that inadvertently cut the wires at the Freud pump station in Detroit on June 22nd, and that fix failed two days later. A paper notation was made within the system, but the upper management received no notification. Then the rains came. The pumps ended up overwhelmed and the sewage backup flooded area basements. In the aftermath, Gliwa CEO Sue McCormick tendered her resignation today. Detroit resident Tyler Butthauser said in the public comment session, Sue McCormick, I don't accept your resignation because you need to fix this. This is not accountability. Walking away is not accountability. But shortly thereafter, the board took up the vote on her resignation. Please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Her contract reads she had to give 60 days notice. The board itself seemed amenable to having her leave before them. In the meantime, several members weighed in on the problem on the June 25th flooding. Board Chair John Zetch summed up the board's frustration. I'm perplexed, distressed, whatever you'd want to call it. If I was the company that broke something, I wouldn't tell you that I can't get to you until, you know, the following week. <laughs> That was his frustration with what happened on the 25th with that subcontractor. Uh, in the meantime, there is a rather bizarre irony here. They wanted to hold board meetings, more board meetings in person. But it turns out the boardroom in downtown Detroit is flooded. The microphones aren't working and they have to fix that before they can get back in person. Reporting live, Rod Malona, Local 4.